Our hearts are grieving today, and we know they're also hurting over WFMJ. Bob Black has passed away. He dominated the local airwaves for over 30 years. Quite a career after switching to broadcasting from teaching. Good evening. It's 5.30. Time for the Mahoning and Shenango Valley's first news. Thank you. Lisa Bob speaks first first. News at 530. Good evening. I'm Bob Black. Bob Black's television career started at WKBN in 1978 as a weekend sportscaster. Jim Campbell remembers hiring him, but within a year, Bob was moved to the new news. In fact, when it happened, the news director at the time said, I have good news and bad news. The good news is we're making Bob Black full time. The bad news is we're pulling him out of sports and making him an anchor. He had the look. He had the voice. That new newscast would go on to become one of the top ranked newscasts in the country. Number four in the United States. I was very impressed with that. Bob turned to me and he said, you know, some of those ratings are yours. Bob increased his contributions, winning three Emmy Awards for Newswatch Sunday and eventually moved to the evening news. He was always prepared. What you saw on the air was the same way you saw him in the newsroom. Bob was in control of the way he presented the news. His was very straightforward, very calm, very matter of fact, and uh, he told it in a way that you could believe that he was telling you the straight scoop. He didn't give you his opinion. He gave you the facts, and he wanted to give you all the facts. Bob Black's death becomes the third in the last dozen years of prestigious, trusted newsmen in the Valley. Tom Holden passed away in 2005 and Don Guthrie in 2015. Up in heaven, there's a great newscast right now between Tom, Bob, and Don. What do you think about that? Wouldn't that be a wonderful lineup? That would be just amazing. Uh, we're talking about Mr. Smooth with Mr. Authoritative with Mr. Believe me, I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, I would cross paths with Bob a couple times a year, usually at charity functions. He always greeted you with a smile and a firm handshake. You can also see more at WKBN.com about the passing of Bob Black.